so cold. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. This morning, I'm in Otaru City, Hokkaido Prefecture. And I'm standing in front of the beautiful Otaru Canal. I'm going to be visiting Denuki Koji, which is a popular street food market in the area, and it's only about a 15 minute walk from Otaru Station. So it's very accessible. And I didn't eat any breakfast this morning, so I came hungry just that I can eat as much food as possible. So we'll see where my very hungry stomach takes us. Let's go! It's actually pretty chilly, so I'm going to be putting on my mittens. I'm repping Canada. <laughs> but man, the snow is pretty intense. I'm using an umbrella just to avoid getting soaked during the course of this video. The snow is coming straight into my face. Oh, what is this? It's such a cute little statue. He's completely covered in snow. And there's a symbol, a uh, Chinese character that says De for Denuki Koji. So I'm assuming this is probably the Denuki Koji mascot. Ooh. Ooh, this is a cute little shop. They have some traditional Japanese sweets here. This is a dorayaki. And it looks like they have ice cream in it with Hokkaido milk. That sounds really good. Let's see what they have inside. All right, so I definitely feel like I want to warm up a little bit. So I'm going to get an oshiruko. And I'm seeing something else that looks really interesting. It's over here. It says awayuki pudding. And this one, this is amazake. It's a traditional sweet non-alcoholic drink that's usually hot. So it's perfect for the winter. But on top of that, they have lots of delicious things here. I wish I could try everything. But let's get those. Here we go. Let's start with the amazake. Mm. It smells so good. Um, so amazake is made with um, sake kasu, which is the kind of the curd or the remnants that come out when you're making sake. So it smells vaguely alcoholic, but it is not actually alcoholic. Let's give it a try. Wow. You know how I'd actually describe this? It's kind of like a hot, yogurt drink almost with a little hint of an alcoholic aftertaste <laughs> it's a really unique um unusual flavor and there's little bits of like chewy rice like things inside so i enjoy the texture a lot mm. okay i'm gonna try our awayuki pudding and i decided there's a lot of different flavors but i decided to get the chocolate one <laughs> here we go itadakimasu Mmm, that's so good! And the mochi itself, you, you can feel the little glutinous rice, like, bits. So it's a little bit chewier, a little bit chunkier, I guess you would say. It's quite unique, and the inside is filled with cold cream. Some chocolate cream that's really thick, a little bit of white whipped cream, and then covered in chocolate powder, cocoa powder. Really tasty. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, next I'm gonna try my oshiruko. It looks amazing. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> Got lots of mochi balls in there and it looks steaming hot. Mmm. I mean, some mochi can be really tough and you really have to chew it. And this mochi is so soft, it's so silky. It really, it really just disappears in your mouth. The hot red bean soup. It really warms you up, and it's it's such a sweet, sweet soup. It's the perfect dessert on a cold day. All right, I'm gonna continue warming up a little bit, and let's move on to our next stop. Ooh, what is this? It looks like you have a whole bunch of um, steamed buns filled with different things. They have the classic barbecue pork bun, but since we're in Hokkaido, They've got Jingiskan man, which is the Mongolian barbecue, lamb or mutton meat, which is really common here. And we have Kani man, which is a steamed crab bun. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to try and get one of those. One of each. <laughs> Let's do it. 
ジンギスカンマンありがとうございますイエーイ I've got my goodies some steaming hot steamed buns in the snow <laughs> so I'm gonna start with what I think is the crab bun oh my gosh it's so good and it's so cold this is amazing here we go itadakimasu That is completely filled with crab, and there's little bits of veggies like carrots, and I believe it is bamboo shoots. You really get so much of a punch of flavor from the crab meat. There's a, clearly a whole lot of crab in there. Okay, let's try the next one. This is the Genghis Khan Man, or Genghis Khan Mongolian barbecue lamb steamed bun. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's very nice. I have to say it has kind of a stronger like lamb meat or mutton flavor. The inside is really soupy. It feels like I'm eating um, a hot mutton stew. And honestly, it, it really looks, it, it looks tantalizing. It, it, it is very nice. It warms you up. That is really good. And the dough is so chewy, so fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep on munching on this and then let's continue walking around and see what else we can find. Mm. Ooh, what is this? It says Santa no Hige, which is what I was looking for. And Santa no Hige, I guess this is it. It's ice cream on top of a Hokkaido melon. I mean, it's kind of an interesting dessert, but these are both things you can, that Hokkaido is famous for. So I think we got to try this. It's called Santa no Hige because Santa no Hige means Santa's beard. And yeah, it's basically an upside down Santa beard with Hokkaido ingredients. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We have our Santa's beard, only in Hokkaido. Look at that, that looks incredible. We've got, um, I decided to get a mix of melon ice cream and Hokkaido milk vanilla ice cream. So let's dig in and give this a try. Ooh, I like how they even give you a little jagged spoon to help you like carve out the melon. Very clever. Mm, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That is a juicy cantaloupe. And the melon is so sweet. And the ice cream complements it so nicely because the ice cream is so creamy and so rich. That's what Hokkaido milk and Hokkaido milk ice cream is renowned for. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna try and eat this all if I can <laughs> and then I'm gonna move on and see if we can find some other tasty treats in this area. I'll see you guys in a bit. On to the next place! So I've just left Denuki Koji and now I've arrived at Sankaku Ichiba which means Triangle Market. And that's this one right here. This area is known to have some of the freshest and cheapest seafood in all of Otaru City. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Konnichiwa! Sugoi! Oh wow! That's really amazing. Look how big the crab is. I've never seen a crab this big before. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! This is the one from yesterday. What? It's the Hakkaku fish! So this is the fish we ate in a previous video. Um, we only saw the dried one, but this is what it looks like when it's fresh. And man, it really does look super cool. Oh my god, look at that! I have never seen seafood so big in, ever in my entire life. This place has so much seafood! Oh my goodness, look at this restaurant! So much seafood out front. I think this is my lunch spot. I can see rice bowls everywhere. So what I would like to eat here today is a sea urchin bowl. Mm, all right, so while we're waiting for the food, there's plenty of entertainment on the wall here. Ooh, and look at these guys. This is a kianko. 
or yellow goosefish or anglerfish, and he looks pretty badass, I have to say. <gasps> wow! Thank you! Arigato gozaimasu! Oh, that looks incredible! Look at that! Ah, it's such a nice warm bowl of rice. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is such a comforting warm bowl of hot rice with raw sea urchin on top with two different kinds. And I don't think I've ever tried the second kind. The most common one I've seen is this orange colored sea urchin. But this time we also get a northern sea urchin, which is a whiter, kind of pale yellow one. There we go. Okay, let's dig in our orange sea urchin. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. Very, very fresh. I love it. Um, this particular sea, sea urchin is known for having a bit of a strong, um, like kind of fishy aftertaste. I'm not getting that right now, actually. Mmm, it's very good. Wow, okay. So now let's try the white sea urchin. Let's do this. First time white northern sea urchin. You like this? Oh, mm, also very, very creamy. I'm gonna say it has kind of a, a softer, mellower, um, less intense taste as the orange one, but both very good. I love it. So good, so fresh, so good, so comforting. Mm. Yay, I'm so happy they asked me to write one of their autograph boards that they're gonna decorate in the restaurant. So if you guys ever come to this restaurant, hopefully you can see this decorated somewhere. Yay! Oh, here we are. It's snowier than ever right now. And I've just arrived at my last stop of the day. It is Le Tau, Northern Sweets Manor Nostalgic Modern. And we're going to be getting a very delicious cheese dessert that I've heard is here. It's called Double Fromage. I don't know what it entails, but let's go inside and see what it is. Wow, look at this wonderful restaurant. It feels like we're coming home to Christmas dinner. So let's take a look at the menu. The Litao menu. Oh my goodness, they have so many different cakes, but the one that I came here to try, it's called double fromage. Very French, double cheese is the meaning. And this is the cheesecake. Apparently it's really, really popular here. This looks amazing. We've got a chocolate cheesecake set or the amazing cheesecake set. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the amazing cheesecake set because what's better than amazing? Wow, it looks like they've got a double fromage and another little cheese tart to go with it. And you get a cup of tea. That sounds incredible. Definitely getting this. Let's do it. It's here, I'm so happy. It looks so delicious. I'm so glad I got the amazing set because now I get to try the duple fromage, the famous one, and a cheese tart. Mmm, here we go. Let's cut into the duble fromage. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? So what makes this a double fromage is the fact that they have a baked cheesecake on the bottom and a mascarpone mousse in the middle and some whipped cream on the top. So we've got two different types of cheese. This is definitely gonna be good. Thank you. Mm. I love that there's, um, you can enjoy some different textures. The baked cheesecake is nice and firm, classic. The mascarpone just makes it kind of like a melt in your mouth almost cake. And it's not too sweet. It's just perfect to go with some tea. Okay, let's try their special blend tea that they say is the most popular one here. Tabakimasu. The, the complexity of the flavor is so wonderful. Really warms you up. All right, we're gonna go in for the cheese tart. Japan loves their cheese tarts. This is definitely a good choice to try. Look at that, the way I cut it looks like a tiny cheesecake. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, the crust is nice and chewy. 
it's hard to describe. It's it's not quite a cheesecake. It's a little bit creamier. Um, but if you're a cheese fan, this is a nice place to stop by. The double fromage and the cheese tart. This is a great set. This is a wonderful place to come by, and I think a great place to end the day today. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Otaru City with me. I enjoyed it so much. There's so much history, the buildings are gorgeous, and of course the food is even more fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed following me along in Hokkaido. This is the last day of our tour, and we're gonna head back to Tokyo tonight. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And maybe we'll have some more around Japan trips for you very soon. See you guys next time, bye.